Hey, what's going on guys? Threat Level Midnight here, and today I'm closing out my review on the Cross Armory Shadow Red Dot. They sent this to me a few months ago, and uh, I've been running it through its paces since then on a multitude of guns, uh, in competitions, just out in the field. And I can finally say that uh, I've, I've finished my evaluation, and overall, I think it's great. Uh, so let's get into what I did. So to start with this red dot, I when I when I first got it, I just did kind of a tabletop review that I posted on YouTube and just went over like the features that it advertised just to verify that they worked. Uh, I wanted to test uh, how how waterproof it was, if it if it would hold up to just being submerged in water, if you could splash around with it, if it would cause any problems, the brightness levels, the night vision settings, uh, the auto shut off, the shake awake, uh, and it and it really held up. It held up really well. Uh, I think it did as good as any optic could have. Um, and I said right away, there were some features on it that, hey, you know, I like being able to load a battery from the top or from the side, you know, like a Holosun or the newer Vortex offerings, but this thing's priced at 189. So for that price, I don't think that you can expect any more than what you get out of this thing. Uh, it really delivered. So in my, in my bench top review, um, it, it performed with flying colors. And then it moved on to, uh, to running it on the range. So the first gun I ran it on was my Springfield Armory M1A. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know, I've done a series of videos on this gun where I've accurized this thing and pushed it out to long range. And then what I wanted to do was run it in a three gun match uh, in the heavy metal division. So all 308 guns, 45s with iron sights and pump 12 gauges. And to give me an edge, I, I was like, hey, you know what? I need to run an offset red dot. So I ended up running the cross armory shadow red dot on this one and uh, it worked out so well. I ended up coming on, out on top of that match. Um, and when I was training with the gun beforehand, just prepping for the match, it worked out so well. Uh, you could run the gun so fast and people think that like, hey, the M1A is kind of antiquated. It's like, nah, you can do a lot with this um, between you know, accurizing it with betting a stock and adding, you know, shims to the gas system, adding a Matthews fabrication cheek riser. As soon as you add that offset red dot, when you have a little glass on the gun, you can run it so fast. Um, and, and it, it showed in, in competition. So I was really happy with the results. And the other thing was I was really happy that the red dot could stand up to the 308 recoil. So I shot, I don't know, maybe, 500 rounds of 308 through this gun with that cross armory shadow red dot on there and it held up just fine and that was kind of you know the starting point is like hey maybe this red dot can do all the little things that it advertises but has to stand up to heavy gun recoil you know shotguns 308 guns so i shot a lot of 308 out of this thing and it held up just fine ended up winning a match with it uh, so it felt pretty good all right, so after I shot my M1A at the match, I ended up pulling the red dot off. As much as I didn't want to, the gun ran so perfect with the red dot on, uh, combined with the scope that I had on, I didn't want to pull it off. But in the uh, interest of the review, I pulled it off and I ended up mounting it on this uh, Glock 34. And you can see it's got all this stuff on it. It's all the upgrades to this Glock are from Cross Armory. Um, I'll vouch for all of them. The triggers are great, the pins, the extended uh, takedown levers the extended mag release, the mag wells, uh, everything functions flawless. So I ended up running the red dot on here and I shot hundreds of rounds of nine millimeter through it uh, and it ran 100% flawless, easy to zero. Um, and the thing just, it shot excellent, uh, even out at ranges like a hundred yards or so. So I did another review um, at this point where I just shot just pistol and uh, I was really happy with it. It's an RMSC footprint. So the original Glock MOS didn't come with a plate. Uh, I ended up going with a DPP titanium plate just to test that one out as well. It ran fine as well. Uh, but overall, I was really happy with it. Uh, so the next thing I did was mount it to my Benelli M4. And that's where it sits right now. Um, so I ended up putting the walnut furniture on the Benelli M4. I thought it looked cool and uh, it makes it easier if you are, are quad loading or twin loading from right here, if you don't have a pistol grip to just load the gun. So I needed a red dot on just in case I need to shoot slugs out of it. Um, and so naturally I was like, hey, let's just rotate this thing off. Uh, so I put it back on its little Picatinny mount. And before I shot a match with it, I shot hundreds of rounds of birdshot and slug zeroed it with the slugs the thing holds at zero just fine um, and then i shot a match with it and performed really well uh, i shot in the open division with like duty guns plus this shotgun and ended up taking third overall which was great 
Um, but overall, the, the site, it just performed. Um, it lived up to everything that they advertised and then some. And, and I didn't know what to think, especially shooting like slugs and stuff out of this gun and shooting a lot of like high volume 12 gauge, if it would even hold up. Uh, but it did. And for the price point, I, I can't possibly expect any more out of it. Uh, I don't know that you can get a better red dot on the market for, for what it costs. And uh, overall, I've been happy with it. I, I'll probably just leave it on this thing for now. Uh, I might rotate it back to the M1A. So I have a couple of micro red dots that I swap back and forth between my pistols and shotguns and, and rifles. But, but right now, it's like, hey, it's zeroed on this thing. I love shooting this gun like this. So I'll probably just leave it on here for now. Maybe I'll pull it back to the Glock 34 and shoot a pistol match with it. But overall, I think the Shadow Red Dot performed perfect. And I strongly recommend it. If you're in the market for a Red Dot, um, you know, there's a few things about it. You know, like I say, the, the battery not loading from the top. But, you know, it advertises like 50,000 hours of battery life. So, you know, and in a couple of years, I'll need to change the battery, which at that point, who cares? You should probably be rechecking your zero uh, several times in between then anyways. So if it doesn't load from the top, that's really not a deal breaker. Um, you know, so all, all in all, this thing has my endorsement. I think it's a great red dot. And uh, if you guys are in the market, check it out. It's definitely worth a look.